What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Sacred Gold All-Stars. Last time we took on the Kimono Girls and today we're making our way up the Bell Tower, Tin Tower. I'm not sure which one this is. I guess it's called the Bell Tower. Alright, so we're going to catch Ho-Oh. So I've recorded my own sort of Ho-Oh. This is Yegdip. He's great. He's holding something in his little claw. So let's see what it is. And it is an orange flower. Oh, thank you for that. I really needed that, Yegdip. I, I really did. And now he's going to dance around and show that he loves us. Alright, so let's head up the bell tower now. And uh, in the hopes of catching Ho-Oh here. So this tower was built as a place of rest for Ho-Oh. The legendary flying type. Since Ho-Oh left, many people have gone up the tower to bring it back. But none have succeeded. Morty, the gym leader, has tried. I see, that's the Ecrutique badge. The badge alone will not do any good. Please do go- Oh, what? what? Alright, so just having the badge apparently allows us to get over here. I did not know that, so... Alright, we could have gone over here apparently a long time ago, but there was really nothing to do. And this right here... This is actually one of my favorite places in the game. I mean, there's no music. It's understandable, I guess, because, I don't know, they want it to be like a peaceful uh, sort of meditating area. But it just looks so cool. I remember when I first played this game, I was like, holy crap, man. I can't wait for like... The future of Pokemon, and of course now we have uh, X and Y and those awesome 3D graphics don't really compare to this, but uh, I don't know, this was this was pretty cool back when I first saw it. And we also get TM35 for Flamethrower here, probably something I could have picked up a while ago, but I never really knew about it. I don't know, I feel like there could have been at least like some ambient sounds around here, like maybe wind howling sounds or like little leaves falling from the sky. I guess black and white were the first games to put leaves falling. Anyway, let's head up and into the bell tower. There's a little Rattata there. It's kind of cool. Anyway, uh, you may notice this place looks a lot like Sprout Tower. I didn't really notice that until recently, or at least the last time I played this game. Don't really know why. I was always like, oh, they're not similar. I'm also guessing that the Burn Tower was also similar to them, considering how it has a giant hole down the middle of it, but we can never really tell. I'm, I don't know why. They just kind of had three towers. Three towers? Isn't there a Lord of the Ring movies? Now that's the two towers. I don't know. I guess um, Ecrutic City had three towers, but we're gonna make our way up this tower in the hopes of catching Ho-Oh. I don't even know if we have any Pokeballs to be honest, so we might not even be able to do that. So uh, I don't know. If I can't catch it, I'll probably just end up killing it or fainting it for those that are. Um, don't know what the word I'm looking for, but I'm gonna spare repel here because I don't really want to run into anything. There's nothing really to catch here. I mean, I guess we could have called a Golbat there if I still kept by the rule of only catching the first one in a route. Um, but, you know, it's all starts now. It doesn't really matter. Oh, I totally forgot that there was a puzzle like this here. I actually just realized this is just like um, Black and White, the, the Spiral or Celestial Tower. What is it called? Spiral Tower, I think. Dragon Spire. The Dragon Spiral Tower. That's what it is. All right. Took me three attempts to get there, but... Yeah, this is actually really similar to the Dragon Spiral Tower. They have exactly the same puzzle. Um, I only realized this because I've been playing through Black and White recently. And I actually just did the Dragon Spiral Tower yesterday. So, yeah. Never realized it that they actually reused the same puzzle from this. Or, well, I didn't remember, I guess. I did realize it because I just did. But, yeah. I never remembered that it was the same puzzle as this. So, uh, I'm going to try to get all the Pokeballs around here. I'm pretty sure one of them, at least, is a rare candy. So, that might be pretty helpful. Um, let's try to get that one over. I don't know. I don't know which one a rare candy might be. I also don't know if we run into any wild Pokemon here. Huh. I'm pretty sure we do though, so. Yeah, I might I might spray some more repels at some point coming up here. We'll just see if we run into anything else or not. Because I know that in Dragon Spiral Tower at least you don't run into anything, so. I don't know, they made it not be as annoying. Um This is the ladder we came up through, so that's not the way to go. Alright, I guess we gotta go. Hmm. I think it's this way, actually. Alright, I did it right. Cool. Because that would have just led us to the middle platform, and oh, I guess there are wild Pokemon here. I really had no idea, so. Running into a wonderful Raticate. We really don't need that in our party right now. And we get an Ultra Ball, so that might actually help us catch Ho-Oh, since I don't have any Ultra Balls, or any other balls for that matter. Actually, I've got some balls. Um, I'll leave it up to you guys to determine which those are. But, uh, you know, I guess we'll find out when we get into the battle. So I actually have no idea which ones I have. Anyway, uh, yeah, I guess that was the wrong ladder. We're gonna go to the one over here on the left side. <clears throat> and hopefully, yeah, I don't know. I guess we're just making our way through this. There's really not much to it. This is also not the right one, apparently. 
Well, that's great. I guess it... What? So which ladder did we come up through? Like... What? I guess it might be this one? It isn't... I thought this was where we came from, but then I just realized that that ladder leads up and not down. Okay, I'm dumb. You know what? This, this is confusing. We'll leave it at that. Um, I don't think going that way does anything, so we're just gonna go this way. Got another wonderful item. And I'm pretty sure... Oh, there we go. There's the rare candy. I love the creaking sound of the ladder. It's actually really cool. I know that for you guys it's kind of faint to hear, but I can hear it pretty loud and clear. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we're supposed to get down there somehow. Um, which means we already screwed up, I think. Um, did we? I think we already screwed up, so yeah, we're gonna have to go start all over. This is actually pretty tedious. I never realized how tedious it was to get to Ho-Oh. How is the World Islands puzzle? I don't know why for some reason I never like going to the World Island- or no, wait, is it? Yeah, World Islands. I was about to confuse it with Seafoam Islands, but yeah. Hey, it's Liz is calling us again. How are you, Liz? Thanks for calling me. I was really feeling down right now. Do you have some free time? No, no, no free time at all. I'm just trying to stop a rampaging giant flaming phoenix from destroying the world. No big deal. You can call me anytime, girl. Anytime. But yeah, I guess we got to go through this again. I know where to go this time. I just kind of wanted that rare candy, even though I didn't know that was rare candy. But you know what? We'll, we'll say that I did know that was rare candy. All right, so there's like a little step right here, kind of easy to miss. And here you want to go down. Now, this is the tough part, because I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go over here. But this is the part that I don't know. I think it's this way. I hope it's this way. And yes, it is. All right, awesome. We actually got it on the, I guess, second try, first attempt. I don't know. Now we got some draw bridges going across. This actually doesn't look very safe at all. I just actually realized that we're just kind of hopping ramps on this super creaky old tower. This does not seem safe at all. At least we've got a Pidgeot with us. So in case we fall, you know, at least Pidgeot can maybe catch us. See, th this was all planned, guys. This is why I brought Yegdip along. Because just in case we fall, you know, we've got that, that backup support. Oh, no. Now we've got teleporting pads. Dude, I honestly don't remember any of this, like, I don't even know how long ago, I didn't even, yeah, I played this, like, oh no, because I was playing Soul Silver. that's the problem. I don't think you go up this tower in Soul Silver until the post-game, so, huh. Yeah, I really don't remember any of this, like, okay, so what does this teleporty pad do? Whoop, 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 whoop. That was a weird sound that I just made there. I don't think that did anything. We're just gonna keep taking them, though, and now we are here. All right, so <laughs> this isn't confusing at all. We're gonna go down here. I probably just missed an item. Actually, there doesn't seem to be that many items. Um, oh, there's an item. Look at that. We actually got one. And that's a nugget. Not really anything I need at this point. You know what? I just realized I don't really need any of these items other than maybe the rare candy. But that's just more because it's helpful, not really because we need it. But, all right, let's take this pad here. I really hope this is more straightforward than tedious to get through. So far, it seems pretty straightforward, but oh, that is a lot of teleporters. Yeah, this, this seems weird. It's like this really old tower. You see how all the puzzles are like based around wooden construction and stuff like that. And then randomly, you see like this random super high piece of, or super piece of high tech. It's not really high tech. It's just kind of teleporters, but either way, whether they are science or psychic powers, it, it just seems kind of misplaced that in this old tower sort of creaking ancient thing there'd be these weird teleporting pads of science it's like one of those times where like you show your grandparents like a i don't know i've never actually had this happen well sort of i, I don't know actually um have i had this happen i don't know my grandparents uh the ones on my dad's side are actually pretty up to date with technology but the ones on my mom's side they they are not the the greatest with technology i remember teaching my grandpa how to use a computer and he's like how do I do this? How is it that I I press keys and they show up on the screen? What is happening? And that's my grandpa. He's just learning. My grandma literally doesn't know anything. Well, she has a phone. That's that's close enough. I mean, it's one of those like Nokia's from like 2001. But hey, it's a phone. She can do something. But uh, yeah, I assume most most grandparents nowadays has, have at least succumbed to a little bit of technology, unless they're like great grandparents. And so we make it to the top of the bell tower. Totally related story, but here we are. It's actually pretty eerie up here. I like the the wind howling sounds. I don't know. Let's step up and see what they have to say. Yes, this is where we welcome Ho-Oh. 
when the dance we practiced for many days becomes one with the sound of the clear bell, we entrusted you. Then Ho shall come down from the great arch of the sky once again. Look, they do have leaves falling. They could have had like this little effect. Uh, now they're magically gone. That's fine. Looks like we've got plenty of balls. I was really worried I wouldn't have enough balls, but as you can see here, we've got a uh, pretty good amount of them. And here is Ho-Oh! That is indeed Ho-Oh, the guardian of the sky around here from ancient times. So many have tried and tried, only to fail. Mosif, your heart and the clear bell in harmony have finally made it appear! Don't you see? Ho-Oh must be waiting! Or this time? Wouldn't you agree? Totally agree. Alright! There's no music for some reason. Okay, that was just me. Never mind. Alright, there is music for some reason, but uh, I don't know who to put up first. I guess I'll put Raichu. I really hope he's not a one-hit kill on this Ho-Oh. I highly doubt it will be, considering it is Ho-Oh after all. Maybe I should save. Eh, uh, I don't know. This is all we can do for you. What you do now is entirely up to you. Alright, so now do they all say the same thing? I'm guessing they all say the same thing. Yep. Can we go behind this? This is actually pretty cool. I've never walked around here. I just love that, like, we have this giant legendary bird in front of us, and I'm just kind of running around talking to all these girls. It's fine. But yeah, let's go ahead and talk to the legendary beast known as Ho-Oh. So! It's, uh, not the sound I expected. Oh, wow. I actually did not know that it, like, changed the color like that. It did, like, a little effect there. Some people hated on my video of catching Rayquaza because I changed the color palette. But look at that. That... The game just did it right there. That was legit. So, hey, it is possible. I didn't know that was possible. You can actually switch, like, the color palette and make it look all weird. But, yeah. Hopefully this Thunderbolt is not a one-hit kill. And it's not. Pretty cool. And it's going for the Sacred Fire. It's not very good for us. It's actually level 50. I just realized it's the same level as us. And look at that. Almost a one-hit kill there. I don't have any, like, paralyzing or anything like that. So, oh, okay. Well... Looks like we don't have that many balls after all, so we're gonna go for the five Ultra Balls here and probably fail to catch it horribly. So, oh, I don't know actually what the catch rate is for it on this game. I know that in black and white, like, Reshiram and Zekrom's catch rate was put down just because it was kind of... Well, it wasn't necessary, but it was pretty much recommended that you catch one um, so you could take on N and his opposite one. Uh, let's find out. I think I have Will-O-Wisp on Fabi. Maybe we can go for that. I don't know if that helps with catching a Pokemon, actually. It might not even work because it's half fire type, so... Yeah, let's bring on the Drought, because that is totally going to help out the Ho-Oh. And we miss with it, so it's not like it even, like, didn't hit it because it's a fire type. It just kind of missed. Alright, so let's Will-O-Wisp it, and it missed again. And Ho-Oh tries to go for Sunny Day. Don't you realize that a Sunny Day is already up, buddy? Don't know if you noticed, but, uh, right, we're going to heal up Fabi here. We're going to see how we can catch this guy. I really want to try, but I really don't think I will. And I'm just... I, okay, there we go. Now I learned that it doesn't affect it. I just really wanted to know, guys. I know I'm a noob, but hey, I'm trying to learn, okay? I was 90% sure that that wouldn't work, but I couldn't be 100%. So now I'm 100% sure Will-O-Wisp does not work on fire types. That, you know what? I just kind of thought to myself, why would a fire type ever get burned? But... I, I wasn't thinking about it two seconds ago. All right, let's keep throwing Pokeballs and forget the fact that I'm really dumb. Um, we're probably not going to catch this thing unless I use the Master Ball. And I don't know if I really want to use my Master Ball on this guy, so keep going for that Sacred Fire. I don't mind. Fabi's probably going to die for a second time here, and that's going to be unfortunate. All right, Fabi, believe in the heart of the balls. We'll catch this ho with this Ultra Ball right here. I believe in us. Never mind. 
when you believe you can achieve or so somebody once said to me but I guess that's not really true punishment takes Fabi down that is our punishment for not catching ho -Oh. and I guess we're gonna go for Finn up next just because while we've only got one ultra ball left probably should have bought a couple more maybe brought someone that can actually put this guy to sleep or paralyze him or do something and there we go you know what I'm really thinking are there gonna be any more Pokemon that we're gonna need the master ball on because I'm really not sure I'm really tempted right now I don't I don't know what to do huh yeah, I'm really, I don't, I don't think there's going to be many other Pokemon that we're going to really catch. At least not until the post game, which is not going to be for a while. So, do we use the M-Ball here? Nah, it's hello. Let's kill it with fire. Or no, not, not fire. We're, we're going to kill it with rock. All right, Finn, use that strength power that your mama gave you, buddy. And thus, the ho -Oh goes down. Probably should have caught it. I'm kind of regretting killing such a majestic beast, but oh well. What what happens now? If that is what you believe, we will not try to convince you otherwise. Still, if you want to see Ho -Oh once more, perhaps you can come back here after everything has settled. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we get a second chance. All right. So that was Ho Ho. Don't really know what the entire point of all that was. Um, it was actually kind of weird. Do I have an escape rope? I really hope it doesn't take us back to the roof. That would kind of be not cool. Watch it take us back to the roof, man. And, of course, our game is about to glitch here. So, that's fun. And it actually took us to Ecrutik. Okay. Well, see you guys in a second when, uh, hopefully the screen isn't black. And there we go. That was ho -Oh. I'm really not sure where we go from here. So, I'm going to go ahead and fly back to New Bark Town just to see what is going on. Because I know that the, uh... Actually, it's right there. Mount Silver? No, that's not what we're looking for. We're actually supposed to be looking for the uh, the Victory Road, the Elite Four. Where is that at, man? It's, I know it's close to Mount Silver, but not quite Mount Silver. So I'm just going to fly back over here. I'm pretty sure next up is Tojo Falls. So I don't know. This is the closest place to it. So I'm going to assume this is where we're going. And of course, this happens again. Why is this happening so often now? Is this the wrath of killing ho -Oh? Is this what happens when you kill a legendary phoenix? Alright, well, I'm really glad that our freaking missing no guy here is really happy about that, you know? Oh, look, we can make ourselves invisible. Invisibility mode activate! Yeah, we're just... Alright, now we're... Oh, okay. Alright, well... Hello, wonderful professor! Do you have anything for me? I thought the egg hatched! Where is the Pokemon? Good job! The egg appears to be so rare. Oh, they said something. I don't have anything to do with it. All right, can you, uh, oh, hey, you should head for the Indigo Plateau. You know how to get there. Follow Route 27 to reach Route 26. Once you get there, go straight north. All right, thanks so much for the advice, Professor Elm. So I guess we can now just go straight for Tojo Falls, which is actually right here. So looks like we came to the right place. So next episode, we begin our journey to the Victory Road and to the Pokemon League. Hopefully, that actually wasn't the Wrath of Ho-Oh for killing us and our game doesn't glitch anymore, but I guess we'll find out next time.